So this was my Pinewood Derby car for this year. I was disqualified because apparently using jet propulsion goes against the spirit of the competition. That's right! So here's how I made it. So I just bored a hole in the car just large enough and then I placed a CO2 cartridge in the hole. Well, there actually is no step two. Nothing else about the car's performance really matters as long as you've done step one. My firing mechanism is just an electric stable gun. I've loaded it with brads, or like little nails, so it can puncture the top of the CO2 cartridge. And then I duct tape a paint stirring stick to the bottom so it will trigger the safety switch and the hole also helps to retain the cartridge before firing. So if you bore a hole at an angle like this, part of the force vector will propel the car forward and the other part will serve to keep it on the track. And that theory works approximately 40% of the time. If you want to see how I use science to make a Pinewood Derby car in 45 minutes that won all the races by at least two car lengths and is actually legal, you can click on the link here or in the video description.